Um, so my trip to Malta, like trip and remote work in Malta has been finished and I wanted to tell you what is the pros and cons. Pros definitely like um, escaping from the city and like working in a really nice view. It just generally really boosted the productivity of my work. Like when I was working, I felt like, oh my gosh, I, I don't feel like that I'm working, but I'm working, but I'm just really enjoying working. So <laughs> I really enjoyed um, working at Malta, to be honest. And people were super nice and friendly. And like whenever I go somewhere, like neighbors saying hi, but without any like bad intention or weird intention, just they're just like super friendly. They're like, hi, and I'm like, hi. Like, yeah, old grandmas, grandpas, like really nice. When I actually go to a restaurant and eat, it doesn't really feel that expensive because I guess some places the food quality is really good. And two people ate really well with drinking and all dessert. It was like 25 euros still, like it's really, really good, I think. And cons, I would say groceries, I felt a little bit expensive. So sometimes I thought it's actually better like go to a restaurant and eat because you yeah, know maybe it's expensive because they try to import from the land i don't know actually going there takes time and money so that's actually good cons but i enjoy personally i mostly use the bus but they can arrive every 30 minutes or even an hour when your accommodation is far from the city center so we ended up using cabs, so that's Bolt for this case, and that took us quite a lot of money in the end. But at least the Google map was quite precise with the time, and you can buy tickets right at the bus. Driving can be quite hectic at Gozo Island. Mostly small and bumpy roads. I think it is meant to be one way, but people are driving in both directions anyways. And also left-hand traffic, so keep in mind. Anyway, that's it.